hey what's up you guys um just thought i'd swoop through with another video um uh showing you guys my mini class rcs uh i running right here the losi mini b buggy and the losi mini t 2.0 um i've noticed that one of my videos reached a thousand views and is still climbing on my losi mini b buggy video on the conversion video i've made of my um of the of the regular mortar to the brushless system um so that was very exciting seeing that video reach up to a thousand views i thank you guys so much thank you thank you thank you whoever submitted views all your likes dislikes um either way the comments have been um have been pretty cool too talking to some people about the mini class rcs specifically these um but yeah a thousand views and it's still climbing on the video of the brushless conversion of the mini b buggy but this one's a very special video I've been waiting on some parts that came in for me um, just yesterday. Um, and this is probably gonna be confusing as you guys, as anybody's watching this video, cause I mean, obviously it's not yesterday anymore, but I've been waiting on some parts either way. And I've been, I've been uh, waiting on my mortars that just came in and the mini class RCs are not running. Uh, I don't have my 7.2, there you go. I don't have the 7.200 KV mortars in, in both of them anymore because I am now running, uh, well, the Mini T 2.0, I had a 7800 KV mortar in here before, but then when I was switching up the, my gears, I had a 35 turn pinion with a 45 turn spur gear, and there was so much RPM, so much, um, just too much RPM, and it was creating heat, and all that heat had to go somewhere, and it went straight to my mortar, the last 7800 KV mortar that I had in here. It just fried my mortar. There was so much heat. It fried the, it fried my mortars. It fried. It melted my EC EC two plugs, and it fried one of the one of the connectors here. They just completely melted one of the brass needles. So definitely gotta watch out with your pinions and your gears. How your well, um, well, how many turns you want you want in your in your gears, um, because that heat it's gonna heat up. So you definitely want that heat to go somewhere, and you don't want it to go to the mortars. But either way, um, uh, this video is definitely something else because I got the 7800 KV mortars in both of them now. And the gears that I'm running in here now on my Low C Mini T 2.0, there's a 27 turn pinion with the stock 60 turn spur gear. And now back at it again with the 7800 KV mortar. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely doing um, a, a higher amount of um, speed now. I do want to get a, oh my God, what's it called? Uh, those little, little GPS systems. I, I know, I know, I know I haven't been posting um, uh, exact, um, exact speeds, but I'm pretty sure we're running at least like 30, for, like 30, 35, maybe just under 40. Um, hopefully 45, because man, these mortars definitely kick in some power. Um, so yeah, on the low C Mini T 2.0, I got the 27 turn pinion with the stock 60 turn spur gear and now running the 7800 KV mortar. And on my low C Mini B buggy, um, the only difference on this one is got, it's got one more tooth. This one is a, let me see, let me see here. Just adjust that a little bit so you can see. On the Mini B buggy, I'm running a 28 turn pinion with the 7800 kV mortar um, and the stock 60 turn spur gear. Yeah, you guys, this is, let me, uh, this is really cool. Let me show you guys uh, just a quick, um, here are both of those 7200 kV mortars that I'm gonna have to hold on to now. Um, but I wanna show you guys uh, definitely the rotations, the RPMs of the, of the of both of them, the Mini T 2.0 and the buggy. So I'm gonna set my camera up right here real quick just so I can show you guys the output of what is gonna be able to, what it's handling now. Um, the wheels definitely bubble up right now. They will bubble up so hard and it's fucking cool. <laughs> Excuse my language. But um, let me do that for you guys real quick. And definitely, definitely what I got, what I got planned what I got planned for my mini B buggy is I'm gonna be putting on these in the rear, my shove, my uh, my um, oh my God, my these step pin wheels, step pin wheels in the in the in the in the back so that there's more uh, more grip, 
because the the stock wheels that the Mini V buggy comes with are already uh wearing low, and um and then I'm gonna put these in the front, the regular BK bars in the front of the buggy, and so that way it's got more traction, more control. Um, the taper pin wheels work really good. They haven't worn out yet, so I'm definitely gonna wear those out. But when it's time to put these on, my uh, step pin wheels and the and the BK bars, yeah, this is gonna look cool. The buggy's gonna look very very cool. All right, so let me, I'm going to be putting on a Electron Pro 860 milliamp battery that runs with either 2S or 3S systems. We're going to do the buggy real quick and show you guys these little power outputs that these mortars can really do. Turn this on and turn my controller on. Okay. All right, you guys, here we go. I'm gonna show you guys the spinning on the gears and the, definitely the rotations on the on the wheels. And we're gonna go slow. I have my throttle limit all the way up at 100% and we're gonna go slow on the, on the acceleration. All right, so three, two, one. So yeah, it's definitely holding its own now. I got the screws um, in very tight. I did have to Dremel out um, on the mortar plate a little bit to the to the far right of the of the of what you guys can see, and of course my right. So because the pinion gear definitely is is bigger than the stock pinion, and it needs its space. But you know, you guys, come on, this thing rips. It rips now. Sick. All right. I'm gonna turn this off real quick. Take out the battery. And I'm gonna put the other. I'm, I got. I got two of these batteries, so that way you guys can see that I am running the exact same batteries on both of these cars. So Electron Pros 860 milliamp uh, uh, on the on the power. So let's put this one on the Mini T 2.0 and show you guys the the 27 turn pinion and definitely the power output of the 700 kV motor on the low C Mini T 2.0. So here we go. This is the low C Mini T 2.0. I got different wheels on this one. This one. I'm a Mini T 2.0 because it's my first RC car ever, ever, ever. But I've been very much um, into the world, like dwelling in the world of this hobby of RC cars. Um, um, uh, direction of wheels in the front, step pin wheels in the back. All right, let's see here. I'm going to turn this on. Turn that on. 27 turn pinion, you guys. Stock 60 turn spur gear. Let's see here. Just aligning this. All right, here we go, you guys. 27 turn pinion, 7800 kV mortar. Let's do this. You guys, it's going. So, yeah, 
there you go, you guys. Definitely got some rippers now. Definitely, definitely got some really good RPM, some good acceleration, some good power now. Um, I will be shooting you guys with another video of running my RC cars on the street. Um, very excited for that one because um, I just got done adjusting everything, the gears, the mortar, everything, um, like just before shooting this video. But I'm excited to show you guys with another update of my Mini Class RC cars and show you guys what these things are capable of. Um, yeah, I definitely need a little GPS system and I will be updating you guys with that. That way we can get some accurate speeds, you know, my, um, the, the MPH, miles per hour. Um, I'm pretty sure with the mortar upgrade and the gear upgrade, um, both my Mini T 2.0 and the OC Mini B buggy, at least at least shooting 40 maybe just under 40 if not 45 i'm really hoping for 45 um but yeah you guys this is really really cool i'm very excited i do have some contact wheels coming in um some foam contact wheels coming in for both of my uh mini class rcs i'm gonna put those on the rear seeing as all the power is in the back but very very excited you guys 7800 kv mortar 28 turn pinion on the low c mini b buggy 7800 kv mortar 27 turn uh pinion on the low c mini t 2.0 both of them stock 60 turn spur gears um you guys already know man uh how we rolling with the mini class um hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos and we'll shoot you with another video soon later you guys